Okay, in this uh, video, we're going to be pressure testing this mini split heat pump. So we're going to be pressurizing the line set and the indoor coil, the evaporator. All right, so we're going to take this here cap. I've already broken it loose. I'm going to take it off. Now I'm going to be removing the valve core that's inside of here. Don't want any restrictions while we're putting this here nitrogen in. And also, I'm going to put it inside a little Ziploc bag so we don't lose it and we don't want to get any debris on there. Now, this port right here is 5 16 So I'm going to be using a valve core removal tool which has a 5 16 coupler on it. Okay. Now the other end of this here valve has a quarter inch threads on there. Alright, so now we're going to take our gauge set and I'm going to take the low side line and then I'm going to screw that onto the end of this here valve. Okay. Making sure all our connections are good. Now the high side we can't use because on this here, or the small line I should say, because the refrigerant will you know reverse whether you're in heat or cool. So the small side line over here does not have a service port. It's only on this here large line. So what I'm going to do is on the high side, I'm just going to cap it off. So I'm going to just close the valve and also have it hooked up here on the back of the valve. It's because we're not going to be using it. And then let's go over these here lines. Now my service line right up here, it is connecting directly to the output of this here pressure regulator which is on this here tank. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that both of our valves up here close on the service, uh, on the uh, manifold set. We got, a, we got a valves here open on the low side service line and then we're going to crack this here tank valve here. So if you can see it looks like it's about uh, 20 one, two, three, it looks like about 2200 PSI. I don't know if you can see that on there. All right, so now over here on this gauge, we're gonna start turning it on, turning it clockwise. So what I wanna do to pressure test this is I'm gonna put it up to 200 PSI. And that looks pretty good right there. And now we're gonna open up this valve on the low side and we're gonna let that nitrogen go into the line set and fill up the evaporator coil. So I'm a little bit shy, so I'm going to turn it up a little more. I want to get it to 200. On the gauge set. So you can see you can see where I'm at now. That's pretty right, right on 200 PSI. Now what we want to do here is we want to wait at least 10 minutes. And what we're going to see, watch and see if this here pressure decays any. Meanwhile, during this test, I'm going to get some, I'm going to do a bubble test. I was going to do ultrasonic, but I think uh, save a little bit of time. We're just going to do a bubble test, but you can do an ultrasonic bubble test, or you can do both of them. Okay, so right now it looks like the pressure is holding. And so let me get the bubbles, and then we'll catch you in the next shot, and we'll go over that. Now I have the bubbles here. This is what, I, this is what I'm using. 
It's made for, you know, checking for leaks. And this stuff really bubbles up pretty good, if there is a leak. So basically, we'll take this stuff out. And then we just dab around our fittings. You can see just about when you dab it on there, you can see that it actually starts making all these soap suds here. So, it does a really great job. I like this, like this product. Now we'll leave that on there for a few minutes and I've already dabbed the uh, fittings up, up there at the upside inside the duck. And I watched it for oh Bobby about a minute or so. Did not see no bubbles at all. And this one here is looking really great. I do not see any bubbles at all forming. So you can see there when you dab it up you can see that it makes a lot of soap suds there. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to give this uh, about another oh, 10 minutes or so. You need to do about a minimum 10 minutes. You can go longer, of course. So I'm sitting here timing this so, so you can see I, I set a stopwatch here. So I'm going to uh, let it go at least another 6-7 minutes. Maybe a little longer, and then I'll catch you guys in the next shot. Okay, it's been a little bit over 15 minutes. Let's see how we look. Now we're going to zoom in on those fittings. And one thing you will notice that in all this entire time, I have not put any more of those, the soap on there. And so during those 15 minutes, you can still see that we have a lot of soap suds on there. So it does not dissipate. So that's what I like about this product. And I've checked and looked over these fittings and I've checked the other fittings up in the duct and everything is looking fine. So that is going to conclude this test. So we look pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take and I'm gonna wipe off this excess soap here just going to take a rag and just wipe it off. Get as much of it off as I can. Then I'm gonna take the air hose. And then I'm just gonna give it a just a light blast. And I'm going to do the same procedure up there on the other uh, fittings that's up inside the duck up there. So I'll catch you guys in the next shot once I get that done. Alright, I've already cleaned the fittings up in the duck. So, as another confirmation, let's take a look at our low side pressure. And as you can see, it is still holding. And it's probably been about close to 20 minutes now. All right, now to disconnect, we turn off the valve for the nitrogen tank here. Okay. Now, I'm going to open up the valve that's on the service manifold, the low side. Maybe you guys can't see that. Let me see. So I'm basically opening up this here valve right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to loosen this valve. We're just going to let the pressure come on down.
and I'm just screwing the service line on the back of the manifold gauge set here. And then we can come back over here, take a low side line, and then we'll put him up here too. Now what you want to do too, last step, is to back out the regulator valve so it'll be ready for the next time around. Alright, that concludes the pressure testing with nitrogen on a mini split unit. So we look good. So the next uh, test that we're going to be doing is a vacuum. And so I'll show you that in the next video. And you guys take care and hope you have a great day.